What is good, Tesla family? It's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be talking about the one only Tesla stock and what you should be looking out for for Monday and next week. I'm also going to give you guys my price prediction for where I see the share price going and talk about what's going on with the stock market, what's going on with President Joe Biden, the whole, you know, oil crisis that's going on right now, what's going on with the Tesla deliveries that are going to be coming out very soon, and what Elon Musk, the man, the myth, the legend, has been tweeting about because we have some major tweets that just came out. So I want to make a video about about his tweets too and actually include what he has been saying for the future of tesla now before i break any of this down before i talk about the share price and what's actually going on i do have to mention a couple of very important things first the first thing is i'm not a financial planner so please don't take this as financial advice and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this not only benefits me but it's the entire tesla community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the weeble link down below and in the description if you sign up for weeble and deposit any amount of money with my link down below you are guaranteed five free stocks each worth up to two thousand dollars each so that's a very good opportunity to get some free stocks you could easily sell these stocks and buy a part of a tesla share or even an entire tesla share if your stocks are worth that much money so this is a very good opportunity that ends at the end of april please check out the offer to get your free money with that out of the way let's get on with the video so looking at tesla it was up very very similarly to what i told you guys yesterday so in my yesterday video right i drew out these lines let me see if it shows so i drew out uh, I had the blue line, which would be very bullish if we passed through this. If we dropped below the red line, that would be a bearish signal. Then I had a midline right here, right? I drew out the midline. And I told you guys yesterday that I saw us running above 1,100 temporarily, then trading a lot between this range, the red line and the light blue line. That is basically what just happened. And on top of that, I predicted that we would close somewhere around 1085 we closed at 1084.59 so my prediction was very very close it was very accurate they're not always going to be right so don't take this as financial advice don't make decisions solely based off these videos it just really helps you understand what's going on so what i see happening is the share price is looking a lot better but there are some things that are kind of you know bearish looking right over here so what happened was we dropped below 1070 and that's not a great sign we ended up touching 1066 and we are starting to, to follow this downward trend i'm going to bring up the two hour candles check out this downward trend that's starting to form so what happened was you're starting to see the exponential moving averages curl just like this this is an indicator that we're about to start descending a little bit so i'm going to bring up the five minute candles and show you the trend you could see we hit that high point of uh, 1115 that's where we had that resistance and since then we're starting to drop and drop and drop and we're starting to descend a little bit which is just an indicator that we're cooling down a little bit before we get to the texas gigafactory grand opening and i do think april is going to be a good month for tesla overall but the first week of april is going to be a little bit shaky that's what i think is going to play out and that's because of what's going on in the world and also other things like that so we did start to see tesla resemble the nasdaq in at least to some degree because if you look at the nasdaq we also had a green day the price action was quite similar to that of tesla and we are starting to see the market kind of taking some hits here and there because of the opportunity cost of what's happening in ukraine and inflation so we have news articles like this coming out president joe biden has an oil relief plan and he does you know want to make a difference or at least i think he does and you could see the fact that it's not necessarily working it's appearing to backfire and that's because of the fact that look his you know strategy is just not working too well i'm going to be as honest as possible and we definitely need a much higher supply of oil to keep up with the demand and on top of that because of what is really playing out we're seeing energy prices continuing to soar as inflation is having its toll on them too and global situations are making things tougher so as a result of this this is starting to have a bit of a toll on the market we start to see the spy get hit by resistance and starting to descend a little bit but i don't see this as the you know factor that's going to cause a bear market there's a big difference there it did play a role in the temporary pullback but it's not necessarily the cause of a straight up bear market in my opinion now i also want to talk about this uh, right now there's the second part of the lockdown phase for shanghai and the texas gigafactory in shanghai is scheduled to open up tomorrow so i really hope it opens 
Uh, I don't know the confirmation of how long it's going to be on lockdown, whether it's extended or not, but it is scheduled to open tomorrow. Now, this, it, there is still a lockdown in Shanghai. This could be having an effect on the market, but I don't see it as being that serious because we did see NEO and other EVs actually soar. Other Chinese companies are still doing fine. So it shouldn't be too big of a factor. And I do expect the Texas Shanghai factory to open up very soon. Now, when it comes to the share price, what do you have to be looking out for? Well, remember, we have deliveries coming out very soon. I think it's coming out in either a couple of hours or tomorrow. I'm not quite sure about that, but it's coming out very soon, within the next 24 hours, in my opinion. And once they come out, this is going to be massive for Tesla stock. So right over here, we do have expectations that they're about to crush their expectations we they may be setting another quarterly delivery record that's going to be awesome in my opinion so in q1 of 2021 i believe they had 184,000 deliveries remember that number in q1 of 2022 it's expected to be around 309 thousand let's go guys that's absolutely fantastic and that is an increase compared to how they did in q4 now it is a slight increase people are saying that it may not be as huge as they expected it to be but that's because of the global chip shortage and also the shanghai shutdown so they will play somewhat of a role but to me it does not matter because they're killing it that's still very good and then we have new gigafactories coming out so remember we have the Texas Gigafactory. We have the German Gigafactory. When they come out, I see their numbers getting better and better and better as well. And I believe that they are on track of surpassing, easily surpassing 1.6 million deliveries for this year. I believe they could do it. I'm very bullish and I can't wait for what the future holds. Now, I also want to talk about something else that's important. So, when it comes to the share price, what on earth is going on? Are we about to drop hard? Are we about to continue running? And what I think is happening is, I believe that Tesla is getting hit by strong resistance. We're starting to curl just like this, and we are starting to descend a little bit. Now, the thing is, we do have the Texas Gigafactory opening on April 7th. So going into that, I think that's going to be a very bullish catalyst. It could still cause us to run a little bit. I don't know if it's going to take us to 1200 or that high, but I do think it's going to lead to a temporary bounce in the share price leading us to run up. But then ultimately, I do see us continuing to descend before that. So what I think is going to happen is this. I think Tesla is going to cool off its boosters for next week at least for parts of it so don't be surprised if we see this thing testing 1070 maybe dropping a little bit below that maybe their deliveries may not cause it to run up as hard as some people would want it to have because of the fact that they had that shutdown so look at this range right here the 1070 to 1050 dollar range that's where i see this thing potentially trading if we do have that pullback and i do think that's going to happen but some people describe this as the dip before the rip and that is actually pretty healthy for the stock like i talked about in previous videos it's fine if we dip just a little bit sometime next week because we need to cool off our rsi if i bring up the rsi you could see right over here on the uh, two hour candles i think it's a little bit better you could see right here it went really high up it was considered to be overbought and we need this thing to cool down just a little bit for us to continue on the next leg up and we are starting to see consolidation which is pretty good and it just shows tesla is improving day in and day out now the macd is also showing something quite similar we got this flip from the macd the nine day moving average it's showing these red histograms which are suggesting that tesla could start descending just a little bit that doesn't mean it's going to be red every single day it just means we're starting this we're starting to respect a bit of a downward trend and my next target would be if we do end up dipping below 1070 which is very probable we could end up in the 1050 dollar range so once we hit 1050 as long as we hold up until we have the grand opening of the texas gigafactory i do expect that to actually push us up temporarily and i do think it's going to be pretty darn good i think there's going to be a big party investors are going to be very excited and i still see that as something that could push us up at least for the month of april and i think april is going to be a very good month for tesla still because typically and historically it is a good month and it's still looking pretty healthy now i'm, I'm going to make another video about my price prediction for monday uh, on Sunday, it's going to come out. And right now, I want to talk about Elon Musk and his Twitter page because we haven't talked about that for a while. So, right over here, 
This person made a joke. They stated that Tesla files for bankruptcy after disrupting the auto industry, posting record margins and a 1,900% stock return in the past three years. Elon Musk actually liked after, uh, I'm sorry, he laughed after seeing this. That's pretty darn funny in my opinion because the moment people read this, they probably had a heart attack where it says Tesla files for bankruptcy. It's just a joke. Don't take it seriously for April Fool's. But once again, I want you to think about the growth we saw over these last couple of years now when it comes to big updates we have this about the drive tesla uh, twitter page for canada and you can see right here they're talking about the fact that you should keep an eye on your safety score as we've heard from few people that their scores have dropped since uh, some 100 drives are no longer being included in the calculation uh there will be they're asking elon musk will there be a full self-driving beta testers added to the canada soon so right over here we can see they're showing the safety scores that some people's have dropped and elon musk responded with this yes so they are going to canada very soon that's fantastic but but we take very precautious measures remember that to safety that's a very good thing that he is stating because it is a beta it's not you know on full effect just yet they need to be as safe as possible as we confirm functionality on canadian roads the beta will expand so they have to be very careful when it comes to giving people their safety scores but they are expanding to canada which i think is very awesome because canada is a pretty pretty big market it has a population of almost i believe 40 million people or like 35 million that's absolutely fantastic now i want to talk about this right here Elon Musk liked this tweet. It states that Tesla takes 18.5 plus percent of the EV market share in Norway in Q1 with Model Y and Model 3 at top of list. Once again, fantastic news. One in five cars in Norway that are EVs are Tesla's absolutely phenomenal and to me look norway is not a huge country i think it has like a five to six million population it's not even a massive massive country but for them to have that control despite the fact that they're in america they don't even have a gigafactory you know that close yet they're barely opening in germany that still says a lot about their brand and how amazing they are and I believe their EV market share in Europe may start expanding, actually, if they really can keep up with the production, which I believe they can because of the Giga Berlin. Now, I also want to talk about this right here. There's breaking news that came out. A former official at a Detroit branch in the United Auto Workers has pleaded guilty to charges that he has you know, embezzled more than $2 million in union money. That is very concerning and sad that things like that happen. And Elon Musk responded. And I think this is the important thing I'm talking about. He stated that the UAW stole millions from workers, whereas Tesla has made many workers millionaires via stock grants. Subtle but important difference. Once again, Tesla has created billions of dollars in wealth for individuals. They're improving their company all the darn time. Their AI technology is going to be incredible. It's the future. And we're just getting started when it comes to delivery. So I, I know I'm recording this before the delivery data came out. So I apologize for that. But at the time I'm recording that, and I do expect this to be very close, it's probably going to be around 309,000 cars delivered globally. And it this may not be 100% accurate, but it's going to be fantastic still, in my opinion, because they're growing over and over and over again. And I see even more growth for Q2, for Q3, Q4, and so on and so forth. I see this company killing it. And my prediction for the year is 1.6 million deliveries. I believe they could make that. I know it sounds maybe even too conservative. I mean, they, they may even crush that number by some massive margin but like i'm saying they're doing very well they're killing it for the long term i'm still very bullish even if we are starting to see some bearish price action causing us to dip a little bit it's still doing well it's still fantastic be patient because this thing is just getting started give it the time it needs and i see the stock soaring to the absolute moon i wish the best for the deliveries and i can't wait for what the future holds anyways thank you for listening have a fantastic rest of the day. Enjoy the weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Tesla to the moon, and peace out.